I'd always had this gift for being able to play by ear. When I was growing up, having piano lessons, it was called messing about the piano. I was supposed to be playing Mozart. I was just making stuff up. And I found that silent film was perfect for me to sit at the piano and then have the music generated by the process of the story. My name is Neil Brand. I've composed the music to uh, the Alfred Hitchcock silent film of Blackmail, and I'm here in Kiev to present it very, very proudly indeed. I enjoy improvisation, but with a film like this, everything has to be completely nailed. It has to be detailed and it has to be exact. It is the editing speed that gives me the momentum of the music and the points at which you suddenly get fast cuts. You can't help but make the music speed up with that. I love the fact that there is no other sound. Most film composers have to allow for dialogue, for effects, and that is the job. As a composer of a silent film, you have the whole soundtrack, which means you can write a symphony, and the director is dead. I can't tell you what a relief that is. You're always asking the question, what would Hitchcock have wanted? And usually he's very clear with what he requires of his composers, particularly the violence behind the curtain. You have to make that absolutely clear. You have to have the whole orchestra stabbing that knife down. The great composer is Bernard Herrmann, and I virtually quoted Bernard Herrmann and the Psycho score in there, so that you have that chink, chink, chink. Hitchcock has had accusations of being overly manipulative, particularly with his actresses. But my job, as I felt it, was to try and maintain the balance between what Hitchcock puts us through, making us voyeurs, but not at any point allowing that to either become salacious or to ignore it. What's interesting is that actually in Britain and in America at this time, censorship was very much more relaxed than it was going to become in another two or three years. You could get away with that in 1929. In 1933, you probably couldn't show him pulling her across the room and into the bed. That would have been forbidden. В українських реаліях 20-х років система, цензурні комітети примушували режисера промовляти певними пропагандистськими ідеалами. Що би ви порадили композиторам, які працюють з українським пропагандистським матеріалом, маніпулятивним матеріалом, але коли маніпуляція йде не від режисера, а від ідеологічної системи? You don't have to serve the audience of the 1920s you have to serve the audience of 2019. And I think it is powerful to have a score which allows them still to be carried by the film, but as far as possible makes it clear that this is a damaged article that they're watching. There are ways in which music can not consent to what is being done in the film. And I think it's very important also that they work with the archivists who are restoring them and that they work with the people who understand film. It's a major responsibility for any composer to work with that material, particularly here, particularly now.